definitely that, uh, but it is also made up entirely of natural harmonics um, occurring on this instrument. So most instruments have overtones or partials, like which are resonating tones above the fundamental, like and then we have these where we just sort of touch the string lightly instead of press it all the way down and you get these. All over, up and down, ascending. Um, except that Michael mixed everything up and wanted to make a tune, and so I'm kind of hopping all over. And of all the pieces, it's the most gentle, but it's also the most uh, unmanageable for this reason that everything is, is close together, and if the bow is just so, or my finger is a millimeter here, you know, you might get a different tone, so it's going to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> this is tuneful.
Jacobson, um, who some of you know her work and some of you might also know that she was an agoraphobe um, and for the last 20 years of her life never left her room. Um, and singing this and also just being in this tiny space, you know, and being here and you kind of think about like what that would feel like and what a living a life like that would be like. Um, I'm going to sing a little bit more um, of her words later on, but we're going to take a sharp turn um, into something called Rage Against the Cello. And I'm pretty sure any of you who are a fan of Rage Against the Machine are going to pick up on the little quote that's in this. <clears throat> Thank you. 
also two back to back at this moment. Um, but this next piece, um, some of these pieces don't have titles yet, so <laughs> I keep saying the piece. Um, this was actually the first thing that Michael wrote for me when we started working on this. Now, I've been a part of being in a can for 10 years now, and I've played a heavy amount of Michael Gordon, David Lang, and Julia Wolf, who are the founders of Bang in a Can, and I've always wanted to commission Michael. I've played Industry and Light is Calling and so much music that he's written for the All-Stars. Um, and he said, yeah, I'll write you a piece. And most of the time when you commission a piece, I find you ask someone, and they're like, great, yeah, I'd love to write for you. And then a couple months later, you know, something appears in your inbox, and it's like, all right, good luck, have a great time, you know, thanks. So. It wasn't like that with this process. Um, we actually met several times, and the first time, I went to his house and we just sat there uh, for a couple hours. And he he said, "Okay, play for me." And then I was like, "Play what? We're like, what do you want me to play?" And he said, "Just, just play. Play what you want." So I improvised for two or three hours, and every once in a while, he would take out his iPhone and record something that he liked. And this one idea. Um, we both kind of fell on and really loved, and he wrote this beautiful piece from that one idea. So. We can also clap. <laughs> yeah. How about we do that? How about we do that? <laughs> I've noticed we've done a few of these performances, and it gets pretty toasty right around the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well-insulated tiny house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
tonight. Um, this last piece is called Surf, and it's about surf guitaring. <laughs> Thank you. 